morning dear friends first of all i would like to congratulate the organizing committee the patrons of this international e conference the vice chancellor murlidhar ji chandikar sir who is the vice chancellor of sant gadge baba amravati university and a very dynamic director uh, of higher education dr d r mane sir i would like to congratulate the principal of government vidarbha institute of science and humanities dr vasant h reddy for uh, taking all the efforts and simultaneously it's a teamwork so i would like to congratulate the other members of the organizing committee in which the organizing coordinator uh, mrs yasmin sultana siddiqui uh, who who i know as a very vibrant and dynamic lady and my friend dr taide who is the chairman of publicity committee and all those who have contributed to make this conference a great success the topic which was chosen the strategies and the challenges in higher education during covid-19 lockdown period in india is itself a very apt and the title which is the need of this hour dear friends you know that the immunity is inversely proportionate to depression more depression less immunity and to fight any viral infection or to fight any pandemic we need to be very strong we need to be immune and that we will get only if we have positive thinking so this lockdown period i take as a blessing in disguise as i take all for the best friends the children the students who are in graduation who are pursuing their undergraduate courses post graduate courses they are all i call as millennium children because they are born in and around 2000 if you see that these children when they were born they were directly admitted to the play groups and from then onwards they never got time to spend with their families so right from 2 to 3 years of age they were busy running with school bags and tiffins and bottles and uniforms and always crying to go to the school then there they are playing they are performing but they lack once one angle of the life that is the schooling at home it is rightly said that mother's lap is the first school so these children they have missed it so i see this lockdown period as a boon that it has given an opportunity to all these children to be with their families to study and imbibe the culture of their families which is very important because 
what you teach by observing what you learn by observing is very important and what you teach by deeds is very important and this happens in the house the second important thing which i consider as a positive happening is that these children got used to uh, the it sector they got introduced in a very different way to the it sector the apps like zoom and other apps plus teachers are taking their uh, visual classes some are uh, giving the online tests so a new angle has come uh, has been uh, introduced to the students by their involvement most of the teaching and learning has been done through ICT so this has given a very new dimension to the students because they are practically using it and I think that this practice should also continue after the lockdown lockdown period is over because this will definitely help students to be in touch with teacher 24 by 7. The second point which I feel is that most of the students especially in rural area they are unable to attend the colleges so this method will definitely help them and those students who are also coming regular to the college can get benefit benefited by this method as uh, if the teacher sends them the lessons and all that a day before then they can go through it and come well prepared for the lectures so the understanding of the subject will be better they can come with some questions and teachers are ready to solve in my college which is a women's college i see that the the girls they face financial problems so most of the time they say that we miss the lectures because we don't have money to come to the institution and go back this is the ground reality so even this method will help such children who miss their colleges or who miss their classes i want to just relate two small stories to see something good out of this lockdown one is that there was a king and the king was practicing his uh, fighting techniques with his tutor and in, during that his one of his finger got cut and the tutor the coach said that yes it is all for the best so the king got annoyed and he said that he called his guards and said put this man behind the bars then after a few months the king happened to go for hunting and some he got stuck in in the jungle and some tribes came and they took him for sacrifice and they said this yes come on let us sacrifice this man and when they want they wanted him to be sacrificed for the deity one of the persons said that oh he can't be sacrificed because he is having some deformity and he was released then he realized that what had happened at that time was all for the best so we can take out something best from this this is very important the second story is that 
a king was there and he was very proud of his kingdom so one saint was in his court he said be humble because see whatever is given to you as kingdom is for service it is not nothing to be proud of it he said no no you just throw this man out in the jungle and after few months he went for the hunting the king went for the hunting and he lost his way in the forest and he was thirsty like him then he saw a hut and he went there he was astonished to see the same saint sitting there he said please help me because i will die i don't have water drink just help me so the king so the saint said okay but you have to ride 50% of your kingdom in my name so he agreed and he gave him water he drank and then he went away while returning he was unable to pass so again he was uh, trembling with the pain and he said to that saint ki please help me so he said again you have to give me the 50% kingdom of yours and he gave him some herbs and roots so he ate and he was he was able to pass and he was relieved then he said now i have nothing so he said now you realize the whole kingdom you have to just get rid of against what against just drinking water and urinating so these two stories what they say all for the best and what is important is our survival is has taught great reality to our students because they have seen the poverty they have seen during this lockdown how people suffer and how their families are helping them how the ration kits are provided how they are going out to help how food and water is supplied to poor people what is the real poverty what is the real need so this angle which was missing was gained by the students during this lockdown period so i see this as blessing in disguise and we should make the best use out of it and there are many other factors on which definitely students have deeply thought and you will see a big change after the students come to college uh, after this lock, lockdown period the second important thing is that now what is important that now the students after their graduation and post graduation will search for job so now after this lockdown period after this pandemic the industries and the placement agencies will completely change their style because they saw that more productivity was earned by people sitting at home and working so work from home has given more productivity than the regular days so the the scenario of placement will also change more and more courses so that they are well equipped to face the interview because the industry saw that the they don't have to pay much plus they don't have the staff to they don't need staff to come to the industry they are working from home they are working in a better way they are uh, they are also uh, happy because they are sitting with their family and working so all this will change the complete style of placement 
the industries the the agencies which appoint people will have a very different angle after this lockdown period is over so our students apart from their regular courses they should also be well equipped so that if they get any assignment and any appointment so can they work from home can they work from some place without going to the industries can they take the projects and complete it and give it to the industries the ready made projects so this will definitely be a new area of working and placement so finally i wish that as this lockdown has done many good things like the pollution is reduced you see birds everywhere you see wild animals here and there and you see the pollution of air and water reduced to a good level along with this the best thing which has happened is that the students of higher education sector has also got a new introduction of life and a new angle through which they can see the world as a different world and can go ahead a uh, march ahead for their wonderful life beautiful life ahead i once again congratulate the organizing committee and thank you so much god bless you